Showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime. Ooh, ooh, girl. It's showtime. Grab a seat. Get some snacks. Popcorn with some butter on it. Put your hand on somebody you like, girl. Cause it's showtime. A few weeks back, my quote-unquote business partner decided he was out of the game, and his first order of business was to make our company go belly up. Our lawyer will explain everything. Good morning, everyone. Due to unforeseen and frankly... And when I say out of the game, we didn't start out as legitimate businessmen. Of course, your employer retirement funds and other holdings have been forfeited. This is pursuant to the employment contract. Our business was supposed to help launder and hide funds, but our small company actually became a success, much to my partner's dismay. The realities of the situation made that effort moot. The company is very sorry for any inconvenience this might cause and wishes you good luck in your future endeavors. Company fruit baskets should be arriving in the mail shortly. Thank you. What are you doing? What? You're taking their 401ks and their pensions? You can't do that. We're actually running a fairly legit business no, right no, now. No, no, no. Actually, I can do it, and I just did. Well, actually, this is our chance to finally run a legit business. No, no, no. And you're going to go ahead and no, throw it away. Actually, it's not because I just dismantled the company, and now we need your magic little computer guy to come make sure mine, and don't forget your accounts are nice and fat. You want me to call Neil? Yeah. Neil's going to do our dirty work again? No way. Uh, yes way, and don't forget how we got here. Now, how's about being a deer and go get me an iced tea? What's happening? Hey, what's happening? What, what's going oh, on? No. Why are you making tea? Why? Am I gonna lose everything? Am I gonna lose my house? Am I gonna lose my wife? Am I gonna lose my kids? Am I gonna lose Shut my up, kids? Ted! Shut up! Calm down! Everything's gonna be fine, I'll take care of it. Shh! Go home, relax, maybe have a drink, plug your wife, read a magazine, it'll be okay. I promise. No, don't. No. <laughs> Sound like something you can do? Yeah, just need to get access to his computer for 30 seconds. Quick install a keylogger that will periodically send me encrypted text files containing all the keystrokes on his computer, which will eventually provide me the banking information. Finally, through the use of that banking information and delayed timestamp transfer notice to the direct deposit details you provide me, we can help facilitate a redistribution of wealth. <sighs> Makes sense to me. My question for you is how are we going to protect ourselves? Protection? I think I know a guy. As long as you're paying me, just tell me where and when to be, and I'll be there. Hey, is everything set to go? Yeah. Did you get the direct deposit info I requested? Yes, I did. Okay. Get me an iced tea, baby. <laughs> this is a little more dramatic than it needed to be, don't you think? This is the basement of my great aunt who is out of town. I've spent the last week using Tor to set up a chain of proxies. Uh huh. Uh, untraceable router. What? <laughs> Nobody's gonna find us. Otherwise, go down the street to the public library, 
where I'm sure somebody spent a month setting up the exact same thing. Boss, well, I'm gonna go smoke. Can I bum a light? Yeah, no problem. Hey, you look familiar. Yeah, probably because I f***ed your sister. Well, now I'm really gonna knock this guy out. Conscious, let that a hole do what he was planning on doing. So we set up everyone's accounts to receive a reverse launder after a 20 minute delay. I called the feds too. Left a few pounds of our old product for them to find. So why am I strolling down this alley like I don't give a damn? It's because I just gave my boss a big F.E. 